Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. This is Top 10's Net. In the video today, we're going to be looking at the top 10 most sinister moves made by tobacco companies. The tobacco companies get a bad rap. Presumably because they make their profits by giving people all types of cancer. This video probably isn't going to help their case since we're talking about nothing but the most horrible depth that they've sunk to to keep cancer profitable. That said, it sure is interesting. The Top 10 Sinister Moves Made by Tobacco Companies Number 10. Free Cigarettes for Soldiers Smoking and the military have such a close relationship, the subject has its own Wikipedia page. Soldiers love themselves some tobacco-based produce. But have you ever wondered why? Well, it might have something to do with the fact that tobacco companies long ago realized that the military represented a huge potential market, full of highly stressed individuals with many hours of downtime. Realizing this, some tobacco companies lobbied to have cigarettes made a standard part of a soldier's rations, which the tobacco companies then provided for free. Though this may seem nice on the surface, the move was an incredibly shrewd one, since although they would give away a lot of their stock for free, they ensured that soldiers would be hooked and buying their brands long after they left the military. Number 9. Suppressing the World Health Organization the World Health Organization is kind of a big deal when it comes to matters of world health, obviously. The WHO is incredibly powerful and respected, and able to affect change on an almost global scale. And tobacco companies couldn't care less about any of that jazz. In secret documents leaked to the WHO, it was revealed that several massive tobacco companies have been undermining the efforts of the WHO for years. The range and scope of the tactics used is pretty staggering, but in a nutshell, tobacco companies threw money at things that threatened their profits until they went away. The things they wanted to go away, by the way, were the people trying to cure cancer, which makes them the exact opposite of Bill Gates. Number 8. Trying to take down China It's a pretty safe assumption that China will eventually run the world. Sorry, Beyonce. However, standing up to the ever-present Chinese menace is a lone hero big tobacco companies. As reported by Reuters, tobacco companies in China have deliberately resisted raising their prices and even infiltrated anti-smoking groups to ensure that Chinese citizens remained hooked and in turn get all of the cancer. Now, if that's not enough for you, they've also refused to put health warnings on their packs. Then again, if people don't realize that things that taste like kissing an old person's couch are bad for you, they probably don't know how to read anyway. Thanks for giving us a fighting chance, tobacco. Number 7. Paying scientists to play down the link between smoking and Alzheimer's The list of diseases and physical maladies that smoking helps to cause is so long that listing them in this video would mean it went on forever and no one wants to watch that. It's suffice to say that the list is really, really long. However, one disease that has constantly emerged in the papers is Alzheimer's. And yet, every now and again, a paper would emerge that suggested that smoking was somehow beneficial to people suffering from the condition. When someone actually investigated this claim, they found that every single person or scientist that had made such a claim had undisclosed links to the tobacco industry. Because, well, of course they did. Number 6. Making smoking fashionable Smoking is cool and everyone knows it, because there's nothing cooler than having erectile dysfunction and smelly eyebrows. Back in the heyday of smoking, Lucky Strike Cigarettes noticed that sales of their brands were lagging, so they hired one Edward Bernays to help them. Bernays noticed that Lucky Strike's packaging was an incredibly garish green color. Realizing that people are largely idiots, he concluded that the ugly color was the reason people weren't smoking Luckies. When Lucky Strike refused to change their packaging, Bernays decided that he'd simply make green fashionable, which he did by throwing a green-themed ball. When all the biggest movers and shakers of the day were pictured wearing green, sales of Lucky Strike brand cigarettes shot up simply because green was now awesome because pretty people were dressed in green one night. Again, people are idiots. Number 5. Trying to defraud the government of a billion dollars Though smoking arguably causes the government untold billions in healthcare costs, it also makes a fair chunk of change in taxes, which pays for things like roads, hospitals, and policemen. Then again, it also probably pays for the things that cure all the people dying of cancer because of smoking, but we should probably digress before our heads begin to hurt. Over in Canada, a former tobacco executive, Stan Smith, was caught red-handed conspiring to smuggle millions of cigarettes, the estimated tax on which would have been in excess of a billion dollars. Don't worry, though, because Mr. Smith definitely got his just desserts, by which we mean he sold out all his co-workers and got off scot-free. Go justice! 
Number four, targeting children and then denying it. The argument about whether tobacco companies target children has always been hotly contested, by which we mean tobacco companies have been as shady as hell about it while hiding behind a constant shield of highly paid lawyers. For example, it was constantly argued that Joe Camel, the spokes camel for Camel cigarettes, was aimed at children. Though Camel Cigarettes naturally denied the claim, critics countered with the fact that Mr. Camel was equally as recognizable to children as Mickey Mouse and that he rode a skateboard. Camel responded by telling the critics to shut the hell up, because that's how you win an argument. Number 3. Convincing Women to Smoke for Feminism Back in the early days of smoking, the market was almost entirely limited to men. However, this wasn't an ideal situation for tobacco companies as their potential customer base was effectively cut in half. They needed a hero. They needed a cowboy. They needed Edward Bernays. Again. Bernays quickly got on the case by leaking a story to the press that during a parade, some women would be lighting torches of freedom to pave the way for female equality. What he didn't tell them was that said women were stooges paid by a tobacco company to smoke in public. When the images of said women hit the papers, millions of women were exposed to the message that, in order for them to be equal to men, they had to smoke. So they did, because advertising totally works if you're willing to sell your soul to Satan. Number 2. Supporting Human Rights Abuse With all the damage and death that smoking causes, how they're made is oftentimes ignored. However, one human rights group decided to look into how British American tobacco cigarettes were made and found that they directly profited from the brutal military dictatorship in Burma. BAT countered the claims by stating that their factory represented valuable jobs to the Burmese people, to which human rights groups responded by saying that BAT were only paying said workers 17 pence, 25 cents a day, or a third of what other comparable jobs in the area were paying. BAT quickly bowed out and withdrew from the country. Number 1. Refusing to inform people about how dangerous smoking is Nowadays, it's a virtually universally accepted fact that smoking is bad for your health. However, saying your product kills people isn't a savvy business move, which is why a number of tobacco companies simply downplayed the hell out of it or outright lied about exactly how dangerous their products were. For example, they massively downplayed the dangers of low-tar cigarettes, advertising them as less dangerous than their full-tar, read manly, cigarettes. Turns out that this was a complete and utter lie, saying that low-tar cigarettes are less dangerous than full-tar ones is like saying a shotgun blast to the chest is less harmful than one to the face. When the government demanded that such companies issue full and frank apologies at their own expense, Big Tobacco fought the decision so hard that the first time you probably heard about it was right now, while you're watching this video. So we all dislike tobacco companies, but if you like this video, please give us a like, it really helps us out. Also, if you like this, you'll probably like a few of our other videos. There's one about the top 10 American companies that aided the Nazis. You would be really surprised by some of the ones that make that list. And also below that, you can also check out the top 10 most awful facts about McDonald's. Now, you might think tobacco companies are bad, but some of the things McDonald's does, also pretty damn awful. Subscribe button right below me now. Brand new content seven days a week, so also be sure to click that. Thank you for watching.